A lot of these buyers who are coming into the North Shore actually grew up on the North Shore. Hey, it's me, Katie. I want to talk about where are the towns on the North Shore of Chicago? Let me talk to you a little bit about where the North Shore of Chicago is. But before I do that, I want to make sure that you like and subscribe to my channel. I've got a lot of great information that comes out all of the time. I want to be your resource. I want to be your go-to. I want to be your real estate consultant for life. Okay, so let's talk about where are the towns located on the North Shore? What does that look like? I've been a lifetime resident of Illinois, specifically the North Shore of Chicago. I probably take for granted some of the benefits and the wonderful things about the North Shore, but it really is a great community. So first off, let me get started on showing you exactly where the towns are on the North Shore. Here we are in Chicago right here. You actually are going to get on 90 here and you're going to go down the Edens, which is 94. And this is where you're going to be able to get off for a lot of different locations all the way up this way, 94. Now, if you are in Lake Forest, you can actually, if you are in East Lake Forest, you might want to continue down 41, which is a smaller road, or you can go down 94 into the tollway, which is 294. So that's one of the reasons actually why I think Northbrook is a really good fit for a lot of people who want to get north up to Wisconsin and south because it actually is kind of right in the middle and you can get on to 294 going north or south or you can get on to 94 going into the city. Glenview sort of has the same thing. It's a little bit further away, a little more difficult, but that's one of the reasons why Northbrook is kind of a central location for traffic. In addition to get all the way up to Wisconsin, you're really not that far. You just follow 94 all the way up and you are are going to be in Wisconsin. So from the North Shore, you can see from Lake Bluff or Lake Forest, you're really only about 30 minutes from the Wisconsin board. You're going to get people who talk about the North Shore and they are gonna say that the North Shore is only the towns and communities that are located on the lake. And that's actually not true. So if we look at it, you first start with Evanston. I do not personally consider Evanston to be the North Shore, however, technically it is. And the reason why is because Evanston's kind of like its own community. It's its own town. It's like a, a mini city. So if you're looking for something urban, something a little trendier. Evanston really is the way to go. So then you move up into Wilmette, Kenilworth, Winnetka, Glencoe. Okay, so let's talk for a second about Wilmette. Wilmette is a town that has a wide variety of housing. The thing about Wilmette is it's really close to Evanston. So people who want a little bit more trendy, but maybe they want to be at New Trier, they kind of look at Wilmette. Now the housing stock, you can't get a really low priced home in Wilmette, but they do have some other options options. So if you're looking for something where you want to be in New Trier, but maybe you can't afford Wilmette or Winnetka, maybe you can be in East Glenview, Northfield, and then there is a very small part of Northbrook that does go to New Trier. Now Northfield gets forgotten a lot because Northfield's kind of small and it has the same zip code as Winnetka, but it's a completely different type of community than Winnetka. And the community of Northfield is really interesting. There are a lot of larger lots and there is sort of a downtown. They've worked really hard to get their downtown to be vibrant but the way that the town is sort of laid out it's a little difficult to have that kind of sense of community the interesting thing about Northfield is that the schools are really good there's one school for the grade school one school for the junior high and so these are families who have gotten very close and know each other there are a lot of people who grew up in Northfield who have come back to Northfield but these are the towns where the kids are gonna end up going to New Trier High School so now you come over from Evanston we'll met we're gonna keep going up the North Shore and then we'll come back down. So going into Highland Park, Highwood, Lake Forest, and Lake Bluff. So now this area here, Highland Park is North Shore. This is the line where Lake County is right here down Lake Cook Road. So this is Cook County here and this is Lake County here. So it's interesting because Lake County actually has higher property taxes in most areas than in Cook County in these areas. So if you're looking at a home in Northbrook versus Deerfield or a home in Glencoe versus Highland Park, you are going to find that your taxes are going to be much, much, much higher here. When we're looking at these areas here, you've got Highland Park, Highwood. Highwood is actually a very, very small town. It has homes that are lower priced, but also has Fort Sheridan, which is a development. Highwood gets missed a lot when you're speaking about the North Shore, but it is in there. They've got great restaurants there. We go to restaurants there all the time. It's just a great place to be. So then you've also got Deerfield and Bannockburn. Highland Park, Deerfield, and Bannockburn, they're kind of all combined because you've got some kids in Deerfield going to Highland Park High School, 
school. You've got Deerfield High School, which is also Deerfield and Riverwoods. So while we don't necessarily call Riverwoods the North Shore, it does kind of tie into Deerfield. Bannockburn is a really, really small community with very large lots for their homes. Very tight, very small. Not a lot of homes come on the market there. So then moving all the way up here, you're going to get into Lake Forest and Lake Bluff. And that really is going to end the North Shore of Chicago. Lake Forest and Lake Bluff both go to Lake Forest High School as well. Lake Forest is known for its large estates, especially in East Lake Forest. Beautiful homes, large pieces of property. Lake Bluff is a little more quaint, a little more cutesy. They're both wonderful places. They're close to the lake, big trees, things like that. When we're talking about the North Shore, we're talking about the whole North Shore. And like I said, a lot of people do not consider some of these other towns to be North Shore, and that would be Glenview and Northbrook. So Glenview and Northbrook are very similar towns to each other. They're both larger. You do get more of a wide variety of housing stock in them. So a lot of times when people say they're going to move to the North Shore, the first town they look at is Winnetka. And one of the reasons they look at Winnetka is because it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. When you think of the North Shore of Chicago, you think these beautiful homes right on the water, very quaint, just a classic location where a lot of people want to go. But when you start to look in Winnetka, maybe even Wilmette, you realize, boy, those are really expensive homes. That's when you might gravitate to Northbrook or Glenview. These do have a wider variety of housing stock. Now Glenview goes to Glenbrook South High School and Glenbrook South High School and Glenbrook North High School, which is Northbrook, are in the same district, 225. So they kind of work together, but they kind of don't. So some people say, oh, you know, I want to be in Glenbrook North or I want to be in Glenbrook South. So it's really important kind of on the North Shore to understand what high school you want to be in if you're moving for kids. If you're not moving for kids, there's a lot of options, a lot of opportunities for you to get into a great neighborhood that doesn't necessarily go to the high school that you want it to go to. So again, going back to Winneka and then into Glencoe, this again is beautiful. The areas between Glencoe, Winneka, Kenilworth, and Wilmette, right there on the water, right there on the beach. You have beach access. It's an amazing place to be. And so Glencoe has some really, really nice homes as well. They might be a little less than Winneka and they're a little more stately, I'd say, a little more space on their lot than some of the Winneka homes. But again, it's all very, very similar, very comparable. And again, Glencoe does go to New Trier as well. Talking about Northbrook, Northbrook, my hometown, Northbrook, where I spent my whole life. I know it inside and out. If you people are looking on the North Shore, I do think Northbrook is a great target area. And the reason why is because of this wide variety of housing stock. You have a lot of different school districts, but you also have a lot of different price points as well. You can get in for a lower price point, but they also have higher price point homes in East Northbrook as well. Now remember, there is a little tiny part of Northbrook that does go to New Trier. So if you are looking in Northbrook and you say, oh, this is a great house in Northbrook, you want to make sure if it goes to New Trier or if it's going to Glenbrook North. There are a few homes in Northbrook that also go to Glenbrook South, and that's something your real estate agent needs to be able to talk to you about. So Highland Park has a wide variety of homes there. Gosh, they've got some really great homes right on the water. And then they have some homes that are definitely more affordable. So Highland Park is a great place to go. You just want to make sure that those taxes, if you're looking in Cook County versus Lake County, what those taxes sort of look like. Highland Park does have a really cute downtown center, lots of stores and restaurants and lots of activities there. Everyone sort of wishes that their downtown looked like Highland Park's downtown. It's a great place to go. Deerfield is somewhat comparable to Northbrook. And the reason why is the housing stock is pretty similar. You have your colonials, you have your split and you have your ranches. And so they're very, very comparable. The high schools are comparable. When people are looking in Northbrook or Deerfield, it really depends on the specific location for the house. But when people are looking and maybe they've fallen into Glenview, Northbrook, or Deerfield, they'll look at all three of those towns. You're finding a lot of people who are looking in Deerfield happen to have grown up there and they want to come back to their roots. A lot of these buyers who are coming into the North Shore actually grew up on the North Shore. There are a lot of people who have come back and have living right down the street from where they grew up. So the great thing about the North Shore is its accessibility to the train. You've got two different train lines. You have this train line here that runs right into Northwestern Station downtown. And then you have this train line right here that runs into Union Station. So you want to make sure that you look and see which train station, if you need to go into the city that you're looking at, Northwestern or Union Station. So you can pretty much access a train in any different location in any of these different suburbs. And a lot of people are definitely taking the 
train into the city. A couple other things I didn't really talk about is that if you're looking maybe for a private school, the private schools on the North Shore, Loyola is in Wilmette. You have North Shore Country Day, and you also have Regina, which is a private girls Catholic high school as well. There are other private schools that are located on the North Shore. However, one thing that the North Shore does have going for it are its schools. The schooling system on the North Shore is very, very strong. The public school system is very strong. And so graduating from one of these public high schools can have a huge impact when you're going to apply to colleges. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the day. Just kind of a fun fact, something you should know. John Hughes, producer of all those great films from the 80s, actually went to Glenbrook North High School, which is where I went. And so a lot of these films that he filmed were filmed right in Northbrook and the surrounding areas. You probably have seen the Home Alone movies like that. So just kind of a fun fact, the water tower in downtown Northbrook is actually the Save Ferris water tower. Okay, so that's it for today. As you can tell, I know a ton about the North Shore. I could talk for hours on this. I'm sure I missed some stuff, but I'd love for you to like and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of great content coming out for you if you are interested in finding out more about the housing, about what's going on in the market, how to buy a home, how to sell a home. I have everything you need here. Just like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. If you know, you know.